To estimate MW and MQ, we need expressions for CM alpha and CMQ. So these are going to have contributions from the wing, tail, and fuselage. So let's start with CM alpha, which is going to be CL alpha times L CG over C minus CL alpha H, which is used for the horizontal tail, VH one minus V epsilon V alpha plus CM alpha of the fuselage. So here LCG is the distance from the wing's aerodynamic center to the center of mass. The subscript H corresponds to the horizontal tail. And VH is the horizontal tail volume coefficient. CM alpha fuselage is 2 V fuse over SC, where this V fuse is the fuselage volume. The factor 1 minus EE D alpha, this is the effect of downwash from the main wing. on the horizontal tail. And we can estimate this as follows. So epsilon is approximately K C L over pi A R. So this is for the wing neglecting um, span efficiency factor. So taking the derivative, the epsilon D alpha is K C L alpha over pi A R where this factor k is 1 plus 1 over 1 plus L H over B squared all times 1 over pi L H over B plus 1 and LH is again the distance from the wing aerodynamic center to the horizontal tail. And the lift slope for the wing and the horizontal tail can be estimated using lifting line theory as developed earlier in the course. So CL alpha is approximately the airflow of CL alpha, so 1 plus CL alpha over pi times AR, neglecting planform effects, and this is just A naught that we had previously. And similarly, CL alpha for the horizontal tail will be given by CL alpha for the horizontal tail over 1 plus CL alpha for the horizontal tail over pi AR for the horizontal tail. So these airfoil um, lift slopes can be obtained from experiments, from calculations, for example, from X-foil, or just using thin airfoil theory. Now these show sort of the simplest possible use of, of lifting line theory to get these lift slopes, but compressibility and sweep effects can be included using the same approximations that we used earlier in the course. For CMQ, it's going to be negative 2 CL alpha H, VH, LH over C, plus CMQ of the fuselage. And here we exclude the, da the, the downwash factor 1 minus D D alpha, or D epsilon D alpha, um, because the short period pitching is too fast to have the wing downwash changes affect the horizontal tail. 
So all of these quantities um, were previously defined except for CMQ fuse, and this there's no easy analytical formula for this must be estimated. based on the fuselage geometry. Now, one way you might consider this is to think of the projection of the fuselage as essentially a flat plate. And this is something that we will look at in class. Now, if we were considering the full 4x4 system, we would also need CX alpha. CXQ. CZ alpha. CZQ. And CMU star. And we can express all of these in terms of quantities that we can determine. So if we start with CX, writing in terms of our familiar quantities, which for small angles of attack, again, is just CL alpha minus CD. Then CX alpha is CL naught minus CD alpha, which is just approximately CL naught with 1 minus 2 CL alpha over pi AR. Again, this is um, using the simplifying assumption here. Um, that CD alpha is only affected by induced drag, so that the drag coefficient is a profile drag coefficient plus the lift coefficient squared over pi aspect ratio. Um, so essentially, we're not worrying about something like the Oswald efficiency factor in uh, this formulation. And using this, then we would get that C D alpha is 2 CL naught CL alpha over pi AR, um, which is what was used to get this. So this is similar to what we um, did in class in lecture 16, um, but actually slightly simplified even from that approach. And for the remaining um, X and Z body uh, axis plane force coefficients, CXQ is approximately zero. CZ is negative CL cos alpha minus CD sine alpha, which for small angles of attack is minus CL minus CD alpha. CZ alpha is minus CL alpha, oops, minus CL times alpha, minus CD naught, CZQ is approximately negative 2 CL alpha for the horizontal tail times V horizontal tail, where this horizontal tail volume coefficient is the area of the horizontal tail times the distance from the wing aerodynamic center to the horizontal tail over the wing area and the core, wing cord. And for the moment, CMU star is equal to 2 CM naught um, using the same logic that we used to determine CXU star and CZU star. Now CM naught, this is just the Y moment uh, coefficient at the trim state. And this is determined um, using uh, this in airfoil theory. Or AVL or some other analysis technique. 
So now we're able to actually calculate all the quantities required to assess the longitudinal dynamics. Next time we'll look at the lateral dynamics.